Hi, Susan here. Okay, today's summer school episode, we're going to talk about fabrics, the basic weaves, and how to identify them, and that's what's next. Okay, in this episode of summer school, we're going to talk about the fabrics and the three basic weaves, as well as the three basic knits. And then I'm going to show you how everything evolves from those basic things. But before we get started, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you're just tuning in for the first time and watching this, this is called Summer School. It's a whole series of videos that I'm doing to prepare you to be either a fashion designer and go to a university or not. And you can start from the very beginning. I have one I'm uploading every week this entire summer. So I hope that you're going to enjoy this. I hope this gives you a heads up because I think it's really important to get a heads up guys it's really important because everything is on the internet and you want to be able to ace that first semester before I get started I want to tell you that you're going to need a certain tool and this is what I have this is called a loop this is a special device it's a magnifying glass that I'm able to do my photo editing when I have small images if you don't have something like this you're going to want to just get a small magnifying glass trust me you're going to want to get it so you can learn about the different weaves and fibers okay so that put aside I'm going to do briefly explaining about the um, fibers I'm not going to get in total detail with this because I want to get to just the basic weaves and the basic knits today all right so just to get you started with that so the Fat fibers. The fibers is what makes up the fabric, guys. These are the long um, strands that actually make up the fabric that we're going to be making into garments. So just to st just to let you know, fabric is your medium. If you are a fashion designer, you are going to want to understand fabric more than your marker set or your, your paper and your sketching, because this is how you make clothing and you are a fashion designer and that's what you're making is clothing. All right, so let's start with fibers and natural fibers. The natural fibers consist of cotton, bamboo, and jute. And then you have the animal base, which are wool, alpaca, and camel hair. And then you have silk from the silkworm. Now we're going to get into synthetics. Synthetics are basically the oil base, which are polyesters, nylon, and spandex. Then you have what's called plant-based that is manufactured. So they're sort of half and half, such as rayon and viscose, which is the same thing, and acetate. You can, now, you can also combine these different fibers from natural and synthetic, and then you have the different filaments, which are the short fibers and the long fibers, but I'm not going to get into total of what that is because I want to get straight to fabric. Okay, I want you to understand and get to know fabric. So we're going to start with the three basic weaves of fabric. Okay, so the th this is the first one, and this is called the plain weave. And the plain weave is basically, I mean, you're not probably going to be able to see this, but it basically is the yarns going, let's talk about the yarns first before we get started. First, I'm going to talk about the lengthwise grain, which is fibers that are going lengthwise, that are parallel to the salvage. Those, that's called the warp threads, warp. And the ones that are going perpendicular or crosswise to, to the vertical lines is called the weft. Weft. Okay, so just so you know that fibers are going this way lengthwise and they're going crosswise all the time. That is the way all fiber, all fabric is made generally okay most of the time there are other things like felt that is that is compressed and not made that way so you have the warp or lengthwise grain and you have the width or crosswise grain this is the cross wise grain and this is the length wise grain okay if you can read my handwriting okay so this is the basic plain weave, meaning it, it goes up 
and down, up and down, up and down lengthwise, and it goes through each one of the ones that are going length, up and down, up and down crosswise. It's your basic weave, and your, mo your most um, popular one would be considered muslin, which is what we use for draping, so hopefully you can see that grain like that. So that is the plain weave. The next one is called the twill. Twill is represented by usually gabardine, if you've ever heard of gabardine. And it is basically diagonal lines that are going across the fabric like this. It is hard to see on this one. That's why you're going to need your magnifying glass, guys. And if you even have a pair of jeans, most likely that is your twill weave. And that will help you to see and the diagonal lines. But what it is, is yarn crosses at least two yards. That means, let's go back to this guy. It crosses not just one, but two, and then goes under, and which causes you to have this uneven or diagonal line. So twill is recognized by the diagonal lines the fabric. The yarn crosses at least two yarns before going under one or more yarns. That is your basic definition of a twill weave. And if you look very, very closely, you will see these diagonal bumps or diagonal lines. The third one is called the satin. Okay, so the satin weave is characterized by the shininess that it has like right here. And what's really cool about the satin is it can be soft or it could be hard. Like, um, and But what the satin weave is, is yarns going that goes over one and under several. It's going to go over one of the, the warp and then it's going to go under several to create a more luster on the correct side of the fabric, on the right side of the fabric, meaning the back side of the fabric will be crepey or dull because you're using those shiny or long threads on the outside to make it luxurious and, and lush and shiny. So that is what's called satin weave. All right, so we have the basic weaves of your woven fabrics. You can also get things that are called with spandex in it that's not a knit that is that's stretchy both ways because it's using spandex fibers in order to go up and do a basic weave this way and this way. But because it's using a stretch fiber, it stretches, but it's not a knit. It's not made like a knit. It's still made like a woven. All right, let's do the knits. The, knit, the basic knits are the single knit, which is this. This is a single knit. I'm going to show you some close-ups again. It shows you right here that one set of needles is used to form the loops across the fabric width. All right? So this is the length, and this is the width. This is the length, and this is the width that you have needles that are making this stitch, this type of knit that goes all the way across the fibers of this actual fabric that, to make up this fabric. And that is just using the one loop to make a single knit. It usually stretches really well one way and not so much the other way. The second one is called a double knit. And this is a double knit, and that is using two sets of needles that are used, giving both sides of the fabric a similar appearance. So the front as well as the back is, is could be reversible. It looks great on both sides. It's using a double set of needles in order to make this knitted fabric. Okay, so it has a, a knit going this way and this way. So that's what you call, this is a Ponte. Um, I use it a lot and it's my double face knit fabric that I use quite a bit. Okay, the last one is called Trico. It is usually sheer like this. It's usually used um, in underwear and bathing suits and um, maybe some linings of some of knit uh, alpha knit items and it is several loops formed in a lengthwise direction so you'll see it almost looks like 
a, a lace when you look really, really close, guys, but it's not. And it usually is stretchy um, in both directions, and it, it most likely will not unravel. So those are the basic knit fabrics that you need. Then you'll also get things like a rib knit, and this is a rib where it has a predominant um, design on the outside where it will stretch quite a bit width-wise, but not as much length-wise. It is made to stretch quite a bit width-wise, and that will be even like your, your bindings around your neck, around your cuffs, and on the bottom of your garments. Okay, you'll also see that some interfacings I wanted to go by and see. This is an interfacing with a plain weave, meaning the lengthwise as well as the crosswise are equally distributed, meaning um, one thread is going this way and one thread is going this way, going up and down this fabric, this to make this fabric. You'll also get that same type of knit or viscose type, tricot type fabric, and with its stretching and having some fusible. These are the interfacings that are fusible. Then you'll have things like the natural leather. This is where the, the cowhide on this side is the leather, and inside is the suede um, feeling. And then briefly, we've got the laces. The laces that are Chantilly, which is the lace is all made on a mesh background and it's done by a loom and in a circular motion in a large machine. It is not done like a woven stitching this way and this way. And this doesn't have any predominant um, uprising. It's pretty much smooth. Then you, that's called Chantilly lace. Then you'll get something where there's a little bit of a cord going and all around the actual lace. That would be called re-embroidered lace. And then you have your novelty ones with lycra and all these other um, metals that are used in laces as well. So those are the basics of the fabrics that I want you to do. I want you to actually look and use your loop and go around and check out your denim, check out your jeans, check out your linings, check out um, your knits and look at them very closely so you can see what you're dealing with and what you have as far as fabrics because you need to know your basic fabrics. You need to know the basic weaves. We finished it. I wanted you to know the basics of the, the weaves both in woven as well as knit so that you can start exploring. Use your magnifying glass. Get out there and explore. Go to a fabric store. Learn about the different fibers and the different weaves. And if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Share it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.